now that you've been around Coach Rabo a little bit, do you understand why he kind of has the reputation that he has? Uh, yeah, you can see from the stories that he tells and just understanding the stats that he's had, and everybody speaks highly of him, so you get the respect for him uh, as soon as you get in the building and just how he carries himself, you understand why he is who he is. You made a huge play in the end zone. Um, at the beginning of team drills today against Rashard Matthews, jumped up, leaped up, and smacked you down. Could you just talk about that play a little bit? Um, we were just in red zone, so before we got in, they talked about watch the double moves and, and watch, watch the shot play. So we were just out there just keeping our eyes on our man. That's what Coach said, make sure you get your eyes on your man. And, you know, uh, you know, you always expect something going in the red zone. You don't know what it was. So I'll just keep my eyes on my man and just end up making a play. A guy like Richard, you're lining up against him today quite a bit, a little bit more than you have over the past few days. Um, to be able to make a play like that, what kind of confidence does that give you going into this offseason and into minicamp next week? Uh, you just know that you got to keep making plays out there no matter what it is. Uh, a guy like him, he's a great receiver, so he's going to get his play. So you just got to make yours. This is about iron shop is iron. So we're just trying to go out there and get better each day. You were picking up a lot more reps with the ones um, over the, over today, at least. Um, Logan wasn't involved as much. Um, what kind of thing does it do for you? What kind of benefit is it for you to um, to be able to get that many uh, first team reps during OTS? So when you're out there, you just gotta understand that the other guys are counting on you. They don't want you to mess up. So when you're just out there, you just hold yourself accountable. Understand that you just gotta make a play. Being a rookie, being out there with the veterans and those guys know what's going on. So when you out there, it's that fear that you don't want to let them down. They're looking at you like why, or your coach saying why you put him in the game. So you just want to be out there, be able to make plays, and, and the coaches that we have and the people in our position group get you do a great job of getting you ready. So it's more proving yourself, um, just, just being out there with, with the veteran as a rookie, just making sure that you make the imprint uh, that you want to make. Yeah, I mean, when you're out there as a rookie, just trying to get that, gain their trust. That's the only thing that you're trying to do out there. Uh, you, you wouldn't even get drafted, you get picked up if you wasn't able to make plays. So just go out there on their trust, be in the right position, be in the right spots at all times. Great. Thank you, Dory. Dory, I'm sorry I jumped in late. I believe you were talking about what Coach LeBeau had to say about you today. Just curious to know. And when a Hall of Famer has glowing things to say about you and how you're coming along, what that does for you as a rookie? Uh, it just means a lot when you got a guy of his stature should be able to say certain things about you, and you understand that if he gives you a compliment, that uh, now the expectations are just that much higher. So you got to keep building and building. We always talk about in our position room, uh, we got to be the most consistent group out, consistent group out there. So uh, if I make make plays like I did today, or whenever I make plays, or anybody in the group make plays, we got to keep going on up. So when we do have a bad practice, it's like we got a, a F on the test. So we always got to get an A or above, and if, and if it's not that, uh, then uh, we fail. Is he a guy like, you know, growing up watching the NFL that you heard about for a lot of years, you know, Dick LeBeau, the, the father of the, the Blitzberg and all that kind of stuff? I heard about it, but you don't really put uh, names to faces until you actually meet them. And when I finally met him, it was like, all right. Uh, I remember when I first came in on my visit, I knew who he, I heard the name, knew who he was, what I met with him, but it didn't resonate yet until I left. And then they kept talking about, yeah, you just made with Coach LeBeau. And I was like, yeah, I did. And then they kept hyping him, telling me all the stats and all this. And then it started resonating. I was like, oh, well, I really was in the presence with this guy. And he chatted with me before then and was speaking good things about me, telling me this and that and what he liked about me. And once you hear everybody else say great things about this man and great things that he's done and what he is as a person, not just a player, it means a lot.